Now, today I'm going to share with you on the theme for next year. Amen. The next year is in a few hours. Because it's, I've already seen on the news that um, it's next year in um, somewhere. Fiji and those places. All right. So it's already, they've already crossed in. But um, God is good. And so next year, I'm declaring next year is a year of work. Year of work. A year of work. Some of you are expecting a year of domination. A year of total, I don't know what. Amen. So, it's a year of work. Are you excited about a year of work? <laughs> Beautiful. Now, this is a great thing to work. Yes. Now, God's grace is going to abound towards us. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse eight. It says, "God is able to make." All grace abound towards you. That you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound towards every good work. Amen. Amen. So God wants us to do good works. And he is able to make grace abound towards you and me so that every good work that we are supposed to do we can do it and will do it amen, amen. are you excited about that now let's look at um, exodus chapter 20 verse 9 a year of work. It says, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days. Hmm? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. All right? But the seventh day is the day of the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle. Because if your cattle is working, the manservant will have to be also be working. And then the, the owner has to supervise the manservant. So rest never comes when all parties don't stop working. So that's why when you stop work and some people still come to work it's paused the, it's paused the rest for everybody so all those who've been doing that are warned to not to do that amen nor thy servant nor thy cattle nor thy stranger that is within thy gates for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day therefore the lord blessed the sabbath day and hallowed it amen, amen. now most of the emphasis of the teaching is on the sabbath the resting day wow. but what you must realize is that god worked more than he rested 
You get it? And he did six times more work than his rest. Do you see? So that means that work is better than rest. Yes. Six times better. Now, maybe you don't know, but the reason why people migrate is for work. If you take England, they have so many problems today because thousands of people have come to England as refugees. They claim to be refugees from their countries. And now there are hundreds of hotels in England that are occupied by these people who have come from all over the world. They are in hotels. The government pays for the hotels. I mean, every day the hotel is full from morning to evening every day for the whole year with the people and they are processing their documents and they have to feed them, look after them. They are spending billions and people cross the sea from Libya and Morocco and so on. And they cross the sea. When you go on the sea, you can't see the land anywhere. You are just in a boat. A boat that should take 40 people, there will be 250 people on board without life jackets. If you wear a life jacket, they will attack you because, because it's like you feel we are going to drown. So it's like you are bringing a beast. Yes. And people are crossing. Why are they crossing? They are looking for work. Do you think they are going for a holiday? Those who are going for holiday, they go to different places. They are trying to go to a place where they can get work to do. You, you see, you don't know how important work is. You don't know how important. The lack of work is the reason for all the unrest. In yes. Wow. All the unrest. People, people, what are, what are people looking for? If... Go, if you go on the internet, you see there is a group that are walking to America. They are, they, we are crossing. Is it called the caravan? It's called the caravan. Yeah. They are moving. We are crossing. We are going into America. Why are they going to America? What are they going to get in America? Work. Work is the, is the reason why. Yes. Work is the reason why. Please subscribe, share, like, because I want the fir every first lover and every flow lover to be on board. And I can see that still many are not yet on board. Amen. Amen. Every house should be stop everything, stop frying, stop cooking. You can't season meat now. No. It's wrong. You can't boil beans for bean stew. Stop it. In Jesus' name, stop it now. Come and sit down. Everybody should sit down. I'm preaching about a year of work. The people are coming into America, is it 10,000 a day are crossing? 10,000 a day. What do you think they are coming to do in America? To come and be lazy? They are looking for work. That's right. The greatest privilege on, in life in this way is work. Why is your father sending you to school? So that you can have work to do. Yes. A yes. good work to do. Yes. 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 Because we take it for granted like we breathe air and we drink water. We don't know that it is what is even keeping us alive. And that's why when people don't have work to do, they become disoriented. They become disoriented. Why does your father say, go to school, do a master's, do this, do this, do this, so that you can work and you will get work to do somewhere at a good place. All of us, most of the people I can see in the studio are looking for work in God. If I can get something to do in God. Work in God. Yes. If I can have an opportunity to do some work for God or in God or in Christ or in the church, it's the greatest thing to be given something to do. Till you don't have it, you will not know what you don't have. 
Yes. So, this is the great, great, great blessing. Uh, a year of work. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. And six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Out of seven, six, seven, which is what percentage? Eighty-five percent. Six over seven is eighty-five percent. Yes, eighty-five percent. Huh? Eighty-six percent. Eighty-five point seven. Amazing. This is God's recommendation and even God's own pattern. For work. So as it's a year of work, it's a year where you will find work. Amen. It's a year where you will find Amen. yourself in the work of God Amen. and find your place Amen. in the work of God. Amen. And become fruitful in the work of God. Amen. And be occupied. 85.7% of the time in fruitful work. Amen. I read it from Rick Joyner years ago and I kept, keep seeing it in different places. It said that during the, war, the world war, you know, one of the things they did when they caught the prisoners, especially when they wanted to torment them, was intelligent people, professors, doctors, whatever, they would give them work you, you carry stones from here and then you bring them here. And then when, you, when all the stones are That's the greatest torture is to not have work and not have anything to do. It's the greatest torture. It's, it's far worse, worse than a death sentence. Yes. Far worse than a death sentence. Just, just, or just be there. Food will be brought. Food will be brought. <laughs> Water will be brought. Toilet will be brought. Bed is there. Rest. Just rest. When you finish, you continue resting. This, this, that's torture. So when I say it's a year of work, some of you were saying, hey, if last year the work that we did was, I mean, how we have worked the whole year, you know, then when we come and they say that it is now that the year of work, the year of work has begun. <laughs> it's like, Charlie, we are dead, cry, like this one there. Yeah, this is a caravan. All these people are going. So we are crossing from. I think there's a larger there's a larger crowd than this. Yeah, they are going through different countries. We are moving to America for what? They want to work. let us work in the supermarket. Let us sweep the street. Let us become fishermen. Let us go. look. All these people are. They are all going to are crossing to America. So we are going to America. We want work. We want work to do. Yeah. Do you think they are all going to prison? No. They are going to get work. These are, these are people. These are the people. 10,000 every day they cross. To look for work. 
I was in a country, an African country, they said 90% unemployment. 90%. That's how come there are wars and thieves. A lot of things come because there's no work. You will not be an orangu if you are working. If you're occupied to do what? It is when your mind is idle that you have all sorts of negative thoughts coming. The guy who was giving one talent, he is the one who had the negative thoughts about the master and said that uh, 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 the guy is a wicked man and uh, he's a hard man and his character has personality problems. He rips where he has not sown. He's actually a fraudster and he's actually a, a stealing from us and cheating us. It's those who were not working. He was idle. He was the one talent. He didn't do anything with it. Look at it. He says, he which received the one talent came and said, I know you. How do you know me? Wait, how do you know me? How, where do you know me? How do you know things? What were the thoughts that are coming to your mind are not correct thoughts. You are not engaged. So it is my year of work. It is your year of work. Amen. 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 And you see all those people. Oh, let me tell you, the church is looking. People in churches are looking for something to do. That's why people stop going to church. It's like it's boring. We come, we listen two fast, so, two slow songs, or three slow songs, three fast songs. That's prayer worship. Then a sermon for thirty minutes, and then one slow song, the altar call, last offering, and then benediction. That's all. And you keep on repeating, 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 repeating. I mean, active people will soon be tired of these things. Yeah. It's only people who have reached the point where just the tradition and the celebration is what they enjoy. Yeah. That's why you find that in certain churches, only old people are there. And they are coolly there. They know the God that they believe in. So they, they, they are there for Sunday. I mean, the God that they've trusted is the God that they are coming to on Sunday. Charlie, no, no Ben, no Kev. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Turn to John chapter 5, wow. verse 17. My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Or oh, my father works, and I work. Change the version. My father is working until now, and I myself am working. Wow. Now, point number one is what? Work is better than rest. My life will be 85.7% work. Uh, and the rest, 100 minus 85%. You yourself can calculate it. Even an art student will know the answer. 100 minus 85.7. Mm. I want to ask students to calculate. Sometimes they should do calculations. Now, John 5 verse 17. Jesus defended himself. He said to them, my father is always doing his work. So God is working. Okay. He's not resting. He's at it. And he is working right up to this day. Okay. I and that. I am working too. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as we work, uh, we are going to get closer to God. Amen. So that is point number two or three. You're getting closer to God because you get close to people you work with. Anybody you work, who works as you also work, you get to know that person better. You have more because you are in the same activity. The reason why you are not close to that nurse is because you are not a doctor or you are not a fellow nurse. You are a chef. You are a chef. Yes, chef. And chefs don't work in hospitals. No. You get what I'm saying? So you don't meet. You don't have anything in common. The reason why you, don't, you are not close to that pilot is because you are not an air hostess. 
and you are not working in the same field. In fact, you don't even work. You are unemployed. So you don't have a job. So how will you be close to the pilot who, who pilots that uh, plane? That, that comes to uh, uh, Accra Airport. How will you know him? I mean, you are unemployed. You don't work. Where will you see him? Are you an air hostess? How will you see that pastor since you don't work in the church and he works in the church? So once you start working, you'll get close to somebody who is doing the same work. My father works and I am also working. And which work, which work is Jesus doing? Jesus, I must be about my father's business. I'm doing my father's work. In case you are wondering which work I'm talking about, I'm not talking about IT. I'm not talking about uh, what? Medical work. I'm not talking about secular. Don't change my message. I'm not talking about employment. I'm not talking about entrepreneurship or any kind of whatever. Secular engineering. I'm talking about working of the work of God. Yes. I must be about my father's business. And my father has business, and I'm also working. Amen. Jesus said it. So that's the work he was doing. Amen. And that's what makes you close. So as you work for God, you become closer and closer to God. Hallelujah. So this is a year of getting closer to God. Amen. Yes. I am closer to the people that work in the same field that I work with. Once I don't work with you, when I was, I remember a brother who was doing he was doing the church buildings. Up till now, I remember his number, 0277. I will not tell you the rest. Yeah. Oh, yes. Up till now. Mm. I know his number offhand. Because I, I called him every day, several times a day. That was, he was building a, the church, the first church building we ever built. Yeah. You become close. You know the person's number. You interact with the person and so on. That's why people have affairs at work. Many of the offices you see, they are, they are, they are more than offices. I've, I've stopped. Yes. So my father is working and I, some of you, I would have been closer to you, but it's because of the work you do. Yes, or the work you don't do. Yeah. Yes. And the work you didn't do. Yes. So what your year of work is actually your year of introducing you to even a whole lot of people. Supposing I become a pilot and I start flying for KLM, I'm going to meet a whole lot of people. Yes. Like even if I become a trainee pilot for KLM. Wow. I'm going to know all those Dutch pilots. I mean, I'll meet them, the air hostess. Sometimes the pilots don't even know who is coming to work, who is the air hostess. They come and then they, 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 they say, hello, my name is this, I'm this, I'm that. So, oh, I'm the PESA. For today, I'm the well, I say, oh, welcome. Okay, and then, even the uh, school pilot, they don't, know, they don't know themselves. Okay. Yeah, they meet. They meet. Mm. Yeah, and then they are stuck together in the same place wow. for hours. We'll and then the problem is you talk about something. Oh, yes. Sometimes on flights you can hear the air hostesses chatting. They will talk at me, Charlie. Thank God. How many are excited about the prospect of being close to the person you are working with, who is working? How many are excited about it? That's one of the great blessings of work. The work that makes you associated with the father and with other people who are working. My father works and I work. I don't work in a different work. I don't work at a different work. My father works, I work. And I do my father's business. And my father's business is souls. 
My father is my father's work is to is to is to is to he sent his son to die for the whole world. Yeah. So there's a great prospect. Never, never you see, for instance, if you have two jobs, if I had a job to be the president, eh? Uh, um, what what can the president have? Somebody who does what cooks, chef, or photographer, or somebody who yes, even a house help or driver, or I have a, a chance to be the executive of Mr. Simpson. Do you know Mr. Simpson? No, I don't know him, but so let's say it's Simpson. Somebody called Simpson. Which one would you choose? Somebody once asked me that question. I said, choose this job. The salary was lower, but it was closer to a higher person. Yeah. And I advised, I said, take this job. The salary is less. The position of whatever is less, but it's closer to this person. It's better. I told, and the person took it, never regretted. Never regretted. In fact, the other job, it dismantled by itself. So if a person had followed the salary to that job, I don't know what would have happened. Yes. Yeah. My father works and I work. What I'm telling you, you can't know except by experience. And also from what the Bible is saying. My father works and I work. The day you lose in certain jobs, you will get all your life. You, say, you will be having work, but you have lost the proximity. Yeah. That's when you see the cost of the job. Yes. And so that some work, is not, you don't even feel like going anymore because you will not see certain people anymore. And you will no more be near certain people. That's actually what you are losing when you lose your place. Now you may not know it matters, like water. Me, I never knew that water mattered till it went off in Ajimota school. The school closed down in the end. The school closed down. We took it for granted. Put on the tap, the water came, shower, water was coming, everything. Till the water went off. And water couldn't run in the school for weeks. The whole school closed down. Yeah, you can't take it. You, you will not know the effect till it goes off. That's how the most important things are. You will not know the effect of seeing seeing certain people just that I see this person or even I wave at this wow. person or I'm in the same area yeah. or I get to communicate you wouldn't know till it is lost so when you have to choose choose a job that would make you close I would like to choose a job that would make me close to my heavenly father Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, I'd like to choose a job that would make me close to my heavenly father you'll find out and you'll find out that Satisfaction at, jo at work is higher than money. When they did research, some guy did a research in Singapore, and uh, not in Singapore, but in the world, but he was based in Singapore, about the reasons why people uh, have jobs and like their job. Number one was not money. I have the book I can show you. Number one was not the money. It was the, number one was the satisfaction, and then other things before the money was lower. It's just a, it's a surprise. That is it. Many people who are experienced, will, that is why rich people sometimes go crazy. Have you wondered why people take drugs? It's like, let me have some experience because they have everything. Michael Jackson was 25 years old when he made Thriller. Thriller is the most sold, most whatever song ever. You know? Thriller. But he was 25 years, like he wasn't even 28. Like he was 25 when he made that thing. So it's like, you know, I'm for life, like there's no money I cannot have or nowhere I can ever not go or nothing I cannot do. Or it's like there's nothing to do. Wow. Like no yes, there's no further step. But work is a very important thing. Work is a very important thing. I mean, for you not to have work, it's a, you will not know it's like water turned off like this. It drives you out until you're going crazy. 
Yes. That's why in prisons today, sometimes they, they will take you to the farm, go and farm. Or they will take you somewhere to do some job of some sort. They said to bring some meaning to the existence. Hmm. Number three is your year of work. John 4, verse 34. As you work, you are going to have pleasure and satisfaction. Satisfaction and pleasure as you work for God is going to become your satisfaction and your pleasure and your leisure even. John 4, 34. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. My what? Meat. They brought meat for him. They had brought Jesus salad. They had brought Jesus kebab. He said, no, no, no. I have kebab already. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. You don't know this enjoyment. I'm enjoying. Jesus, yes, meat. No, no, no. I'm enjoying. I'm have, I have meat. That is why people work and you say, rest, rest. Don't do this. I remember my father-in-law when he was alive, you know, he was in his 80s and he was always building. And sometimes I would hear my, 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 his wife would be complaining, she rest, she rest. And I used to argue with them. I said, let him work, let him work. My meat is to do. You see, when you work, it's a satisfaction. He worked up to 90. He was building, he was building, building. He never stopped building until he died. My meat is to, you'll be surprised that it, 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 it gives you, okay, 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 okay. It's going to give you energy. energy. Is, is meat not giving you energy? Yes. Jesus said, I have energy. Ah, my energy has come. I've seen the work, I have energy. My energy is here. I'm doing it. And also, one of the, you see, one of the things about eating is that eating is a kind of pleasure. That's why we have restaurants. Restaurants are not just for to fill you. If you are to be full, we can buy gari and whatever and eat it. We can eat gari and beans and other things that are failing. You get it? Going to a restaurant to eat is a type of pleasure. It's a type of leisure and pleasure. Yes. You are having fun or fun. Huh? Oh, yes. So, for Jesus to say, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Yeah, you don't understand what work is. That's why these people are marching. Show us. Show us the marches. Ten, do you know how many people cross into America every day? 10,000. Daily. <laughs> from Guatemala, from Honduras, from Nicaragua, from Mexico, from Venezuela. I mean, places where there is no work. Wow. One of the great blessings of our church is those work. Yes. And now that, yes, we work for the Lord. And we are all looking forward to working for the Lord. If God will give us a chance to work for him. A chance to work for him. A chance to work for him. Yes. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. And so I see you having a lot of meat this year. You'll be sleeping around. I mean, there will be beef on the left. And so pork on the right. Shrimps on this side. Lobsters on this side. Fish on this side. And what again? Chicken. Oh, octopus. Yes. And actually, this red meat is actually food. Yes. For those who like who are foodians, if you are if you are a foodian, you must be a workian. All foodians are changing to workians. Hallelujah. So as I've declared it a year of work. Oh, yes. Yes. It's actually actually a year of enjoyment, of happiness, 
as you work for the Lord. Energy is where your energy is going to come. And your life is going to come forth. Yeah. You, if you like marry, I'll give you a, this, if you like marry and then, uh, and then don't work for the Lord. If you like marry the wrong person who says, you can't, no, sorry, you can't go. I don't want you to work in the church. I don't want you to do this. You will see. You will curse that marriage every day. I've seen people who are married to such people. Who are they? are not allowed to. Don't go to church. I don't want you to do that. I don't, don't, don't come late. Don't do this. Don't do that. All those things. I know people who have that. Or people who are married to orangus who have taken them away from their work and from the church. Yeah. You see that, yes, you have a marriage. All right. You have a child. All right. But what do you have? you have energy is gone the thing that gives you life is gone the thing that when you do you become alive is gone because your work is gone the thing that keeps you living the thing that makes you you revived is gone one day i saw i i was in the on the ward i went on the ward and there was an ethiopian i I think it's ethiopian lady she was very lean and on the ward when i was in medical school 1980 something oh yes when I got there, I said, this woman is dead, half dead. So I, I was wondering what sickness is, HIV, cancer, this, what tuberculosis, we were thinking. So the uh, professor asked, what, what is wrong with this lady? We didn't know. She, could, she couldn't even move. She couldn't even eat. We couldn't, nobody could put it. She was on, on a drip. So I said, what is it? So, hunger. Hey. Yes. Hunger, there was no sickness. No meat. No food. She was starving. I've never seen anybody. And she died. She died. We tried. They tried to put her, whatever. Only hunger. She died of hunger and starvation. Practically, I will never forget. I thought it was cancer. I thought it was it. No, it was just a lack of food. No meat. No meat. And she could, nothing could enter her stomach. We couldn't put anything in. No, no, it was serious. She had starved. I don't know how she had walked across or what. Oh, yes. 1984. 83. That's how you become in the realm of the spirit when your, your work is taken away. Your church is taken away. The ability to do the, to be a percentage, to be in full-time ministry, to serve God, to go all out, to be on a mission, to do whatever you, God wants you. You see that you start to shrivel and fade out and die off and become and with that. Because what gives you life has been stopped from coming into you. People, work is a wild thing. People don't know. Work is like water. When it is taken, you will not know. You start to wither just like somebody who has who cannot eat. That's why when they were coming to Jesus and they had got all this food they had organized. Yeah. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm full. <laughs> I'm eating. I've been enjoying you guys when you went. I've been, I've been talking to this lady and ministering to her. I've had words of knowledge. I've had prophetic words. I told her about her five husbands. I, I'm full. I'm so en- energized by the ministry to this one person. Are you still around or you are leaving? Oh, yes. Amen. It is my year of work. Type, it is my year of work. It is my year of work. John chapter 6, verse 27. American. Number four. Point number four. Do not work for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him, the Father, God, has set his seal. Do not work for food which perishes. Yes. I mean, it's actually telling you not to do secular work. I mean, in English. That's what it means. (laughs) Change to King James. Labor not for the meat which perishes but for the meat which endures to tell a life. So on this 31st December, God is directing all of us. Let our effort be on something that is eternal. Yes, something that is eternal. Yeah, believe God. 
Listen, if you've decided to work for God uh, and obstacles come, do you know why the obstacles have come? Oh, difficulties come, challenges come, things that you don't expect have come. I want to ask you that, are you surprised? <laughs> Did you think that Satan will just allow you freely to just, I mean, go and serve God unopposed? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you think things are just going to go smooth road like this? Oh, welcome to the house of God. Here's a golden carpet with golden cups for your new drinks. Somebody's got to be Wazimu. You are going to be opposed every step of the way. Every step of the way. Yeah. To stop doing the work. Yes. I've been attacked and vilified as though sending missionaries was a bad thing. Oh, oh. I'm going to send more missionaries. Yes. More than, or if I'm employing, our church is a very good employer. Oh, yes. You'll be blessed or lucky ever to be employed in this very, church. Yes. Few organizations very. are like our organization yes. that employ. Yes. Yes. yes, there are few. Yeah. It is when you leave that your poverty will start. Oh. Yes. It's true. Mark it. Write it and notice. It is when you leave. That is when you see that your poverty will start to mount up. You may complain, but the day that you lose it, you see that, oh, wow, I've lost something very great. Yes. Satan will not just allow me to be sending missionaries to the world to build seven cathedrals in Zambia, in, in Uganda, in uh, 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 Nigeria, in uh, Kenya, in here, in here. Say, oh, how can you do that? He will oppose it every step of the way. Why are you surprised that you have problems with your parents? Why are you surprised that you have problems in your family? Why are you surprised that you have problems with marriage? Why are you surprised that you have problems at, at, at being around at work or doing the work of the ministry? How come you are surprised? Are you so immature to think that Satan will allow you to just do something eternal and something spiritual? Come on. It's our year of work. It's our year of work. Yes. And that work will not be. Every calling is, 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 is challenged. Amen. You say you are called. Really? Okay. Really? Okay. Jesus just had to stand and say, the spirit of the Lord is upon me or he is not. Satan met him to, to the wilderness. Let's meet there. Hey. That was the first thing. And he was challenged every step of the way until the cross. Wow. Why do you complain? Why do you complain with small, small calling, small challenges that you are having? Why do you complain when you labor for the meat that does not perish and there are issues? What do you expect? Are you so childish and so immature? How long will you be complaining? Because you have a small opportunity and there are issues. Come on. This is an eternal work. This is an eternal work. No calling goes unopposed. No calling goes unopposed. No calling goes unopposed. No calling goes unopposed. You will even think you are doing the wrong thing. Yes. You will think that you have made a mistake True. when you start out in the ministry. True. Yes. True. You will think that you are even doing the wrong thing. And you will think that something else will be better. Yes. But if you have only just a little bit of mind to broaden your mind, that's why I say that. Watch carefully. You will think that you are even doing the wrong thing to, be, to, to work in the church or to be employed in the church. It's I'm telling you, the people that have gone out, they are the ones who are suffering from poverty and a lot of difficulties. Watch those who have been in and have been faithful. Yes, true. It's true. Treachery doesn't pay anywhere. Yes. Wow. Wow. Labor not for the meat. Which I am glad that as a, I mean, I'm a qualified medical doctor, seven years in medical school, 1982 to 1989, that I've given my life. 100% to the work of God. 100%. From the time I had nothing, my father said, whatever, you can do what you want to do till today. I, I, I thank God I have given myself to that. I have no regrets at all. And I'll, if I have a chance and my children, my biological children could work in there, I would give, all of them should work for the Lord. And the church is not for me. And neither, do I, neither am I bequeathing the, the church to my children. Because I cannot. The church is way bigger than something you can give to your family. I can't give the church to my family. If my family will have an opportunity to work in the church, then it's a blessing for them. But I, the church does not belong to my family. It cannot. Can the Methodist church be owned by somebody's family? Our church is quite a large church now. It's not just one, one building. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Any 
anybody that I love. I remember years ago, I had a camp meeting. I, it's either called Addis or not Addis, uh, All Out or Kenwa or something. There was a group like this. And I said, I'm going to pray my best prayer for you. That, that I have no better prayer to pray than the prayer I'm going to pray. And I said, I'll pray for all of them to have. And the prayer I prayed, do you want to know what prayer I prayed? Was that they would be able to work for God. Oh, yes. That was my best prayer. So in 2024, which is your year of work, I see you rising up to work. For. Don't lose your place, oh. Find your place rather than losing your place. Did you hear what I said? I said, find your place. And when you find yourself sleeping, 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 go and watch Cliffhanger. Go and watch Cliffhanger. Don't fall. Have you watched Cliffhanger? You don't watch Cliffhanger? The first three minutes are scary. Yes. Make sure you don't fall off. Write it down. I'm not falling off. I am not falling off. If you think somebody's not going to try and push you off, huh? I'm not falling off. Yes, I am not falling off. You see, you have to go offline and to go to your phone to type it and then come back. It's very serious. It's very serious. And now, you can't hear because and now you can't hear because you are offline. <laughs> what a blessing. Now, are you excited about the powerful message I'm sharing you about the year of work? Yes. Number seven. What, how many points did I give you? Four. This is number seven. <laughs> it is my year of work. I must work with every opportunity I get. Yes. Every opportunity. Every what? Every opportunity. You must be. Yesterday, I, I don't know. I, I was watching soccer for two minutes. I don't watch soccer because I'm not a, I don't understand it. I don't believe in it much. The, the, the ball came to the guy and he just caught. I said, wow, this guy is fast. I mean, he used the small opportunity that he had and he scored. I said, ah, that's why they pay him one million. Yes. He just put the ball in. The ball crossed and then back straight. No, no, in the middle, he just played it in. Every opportunity is the people who take the opportunity. They are the goal scorers. It's very difficult, but when a small chance comes, I hear in every match, every player gets to touch the ball only for two minutes. Or less than, or some seconds. Yes. Yes. Uh, analyst, someone should tell, tell me what I'm saying. John chapter 9, verse 4. John chapter 9, verse 4. I'm giving you number 7. We'll continue in the night. My year of work. My year of work. Now notice, John chapter 9, I must work the works of him that said, while it is there, or when I have the opportunity. When a small gap opens, score, score, score. Ah, uh, why did you miss? <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. When there's a small chance, you, you have to take it. You don't, you don't. Play around when opportunities come. While it is day, for night cometh, opportunities are about to finish. You got a small gap like this. What are you doing? Ah. Opportunity driven work. When the small gap, the ball comes like this. I saw one guy, the ball came and he just did this and scored. He just did this opportunity because he was the ball came behind him so he just he just did something like this he, he used the side of his leg and he, and the ball went in go opportunity driven work so some of you you are right at the goal post so the ball is coming to you oh, you are coming you are calling what should i do you are asking what should i do what should you do chele no 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 you are going off the field 
Yes. There are people in front of you and the ball comes, it stands for you to head it in. Eh? And you are now saying that, oh, maybe I should I let somebody... No, we don't think much at these times. What do you do? You take every opportunity. We must take every chance. What's this? We, we must take every chance of doing good to the Lord, to the lost. We must take every chance of doing good to the lost. We must take what? Every chance. Every chance. While it is day. Jesus knew the opportunity was not always going to be. We must take what? Every chance. Every chance. Every chance. When a chance comes, running. They say they want a girl and you are a girl. Please! Don't ask whether is it. I don't. I'm not the type. I feel that I shouldn't do things that girls do. I want to do things that boys do. And I've always thought of this, and I, I don't know. Come on, man! Just do it. You are standing in the goalpost, and the ball has come to you. We must take every chance of doing good to the loss. Wow! This is my year of work. My year of taking my chances. My year of not thinking when I'm in front of the goalpost and saying that when oh, I will play the second half, I will score accurate. Ah! What about if the guy says, come off the field for the second half? I must work while it is day. Amen. So this is your year of work. And I know God is going to bless you mightily with the work of the Lord. Stand to your feet, everyone. Please. We are almost 5,000 people I see, but still I'm expecting more. So please uh, call your neighbor, text that Flow Church and First Love Church are having a joint service and you can still join at the end. Take every chance of doing good. Amen. Lift your hands up. It's my year of work. As I work, I get closer to God. It's my year of work. Every statement is, it's my year of work. Work is better than rest. It's my year of work. As I work, I get closer to God. It is my year of work. I'm going to have satisfaction, pleasure, uh, energy through work. It's my year of work. I will not work for the meat that perishes, but I will work for eternal things. It is my year of work. I will take every opportunity. Lift your holy hands to Jesus. Let me have another chance to serve you, Lord. Jesus. Let me serve oh, one more time. Jesus, <laughs> Oh, yes. 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 O
It's my year of work. I will take every opportunity I get. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes.
watching with us, you want to give your life to Jesus. That's the beginning of working for the Lord. Just close your eyes and let's all pray this prayer together at home. Just everyone, please. Look, I told you, don't walk in and out now. Walking through the door, up, down, you are disturbing those who are watching. Say this prayer with me and let's all say together, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus please forgive me please forgive for my sins. For my sins. I am sorry. I am sorry for every sin, for every sin that, I have committed. that I have committed. Please receive me as your child. Please, Please receive me as your child. child. And wash away my sin. And wash away my sin. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Making me a new person. Making me a new person. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for saving me today. For saving me today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray. I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. If you pray this prayer, uh, send us a message on this number, right? And God is going to bless your life and change your life completely. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated for a moment. I want to give you the prayer topics for 2024, right? Now, uh, Yes. So, it's prophetic prayers of 2024 with a big heading, please, so that we can know what is number, what it is. All right? Give us a big heading like that. Now, before we do that, I want us to um, take an offering. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Listen, you know what I want us to do? I want everybody to say, Lord, let me always have work to do. You know, as I've been preaching, I think about the man in a prison who is being given accommodation, food, drink, a bed, water. When it's cold, he's, he has a, a, a heater. When it is hot, I don't know if the air, air condition. When he's not well, they take... The man who is leading Hamas to fight, he was in Israeli prison for 20 years. He had a brain t a tumor. They operated on him, saved his life. Yes. They would take you to hospital. I know a, a friend, uh, somebody I know, he told me that he had uh, cancer of the testicle. Uh, in the, uh, cancer of the testicle or the kidney or something. And uh, he was in prison. And then they operated. Well, because he was in prison, even that they detected. So you have everything. But only nobody. Wow. Yeah. As well, though. Wow. <laughs> they, you, you know work. Work is what is taken away from you. Wow. So I want everybody. We are all going to work for the Lord. Amen. In 2024. Amen. If you think you have worked up till now. Ah. Yeah, now it's now that the work is coming. Yeah. Yes. Now we are going to work. And we are going to be happy Amen. working Amen. for the Lord. People come to our church and say, oh, everybody is happy. The people are happy. They are shouting. They are well, we are happy to work for the Lord. Yeah. It brings so much happiness. Yes. yes. Yeah, all day long. Hallelujah. Why do you think we are here? It's the grace. Amen. Amen. So, take out a special, Lord, I want to always work for you. And I'm sowing this, Wait. I'm so this it as a prayer from today till I die. I want to always work for you. Always. Never let me lose my place to work for you. Take out such a special love. I don't know. It may only mean to you two, pe two pennies. But to me, it means my whole life to work for the Lord. So take out a special. I want to thank the Lord that I work for him till I am finished in this world. Amen. Oh, yes. What a great blessing. What a great blessing. You want to sow your seed? Mm. We have two, um, two ways to give. Ghana International. You can scan or visit. I, I want to see 5,000 people, but I'm seeing four, nine, something, something, something. Yes. So please, Call your neighbor, your friend who has put his phone somewhere and join. Let us cross 5,000 this morning. Please. 
Amen. And if you are giving your free, come back online. Eh? You are using your phone for everything. WhatsApps, preaching, sound. I mean, a very small phone is your loudspeaker. It's a pity. Yes. Yes. And uh, sow your special seed. Amen. Giving today. Thank you, Lord, for a year of work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How many want to be close to the Father? You'll be very close to God this year. you see how he'll be slapping people for you. Yes. How many want God to slap some people for you? Hey, don't talk to my child like that. What do you think? Huh? You see, when you are a little child, I say, I'll tell my daddy. Mm. I want to tell daddy what you are doing, what you are saying. Isn't it true? Oh, yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The word he gave me to accomplish. Do not say there are yet more months. Oh, yes. I'm waiting for you to give. I'm waiting to give your. I'm waiting for you to give your offering. Um, work on while we have the light. There's a song like that, isn't it? Yes. Is it John who sings or somebody here can sing it? Work on while we have the light. Now, have you taken out your offering? I'm going to give you the prayer topics and I want you to just screenshot it. That's why I'm giving it to you. We are not going to pray these prayers now, but I just want you to screenshot so that you have it on your phone. Or if you don't know how to screenshot, photograph it. All right? How do you screenshot? You press power button and volume button together. It depends on your phone. All right, there is a way when you press two things, the screen, the picture is going to come. All right, so I want to give you the prayer talk so that you have it on your phone as a picture. I'll give it again tonight. Tonight is 31st night service. We start at what time? 9.30. 9.30. All right, it's going to be a powerful time. Everybody must be there. Don't say you are online. Although we'll also be online, but be, make sure you are there. Amen. What a great blessing. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give and to sow this seed. We are grateful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Have you given your offering now? Beautiful. Let's take our Holy Communion and then I'll give you the prayer topics. Take out your Holy Communion. Father, thank you for this 31st December Holy Communion. Bless, bless us as we receive this amazing communion. We believe that as we receive it, we are receiving life. Yes, Lord. Let there be life in everyone yes. who is part of this. Thank you for life through 2024. By your grace. The body of Jesus Christ. Body of Jesus. And now the blood. Receive the Holy Communion, the blood of Jesus, to wash you, to cleanse you, to make you new. A 
fresh start in 2024. A fresh start. The blood of Jesus. Lift your hands for your blessing. May the Lord bless you yes, Lord. and help you, Thank you Lord. to end everything that must end in 2024. Jesus. Jesus. And may the Lord bless you to begin everything that must begin in 2024. The Lord bless you to lay hands and lay hold on whatever you try to lay hold on in 2023 but you were not able to may you lay hold on it in 2024 Amen. the Lord increase your levels of joy in 2024 yes Lord for with joy we draw waters from the wells of salvation with joy we draw water from the wells of salvation and so may your levels of joy greatly increase in 2024 significantly over your levels of joy for 2023 may you experience victories victories that you didn't have in fact not just in 2023 but in the years before 2023 you didn't have those victories may the Lord give you those victories in 2024 the Lord bless you for what you failed your failures in 2023 will turn around and become the reason the reason for your victories in 2024 the Lord bless you as his little child the Lord bless you as his favorite child the Lord bless you as his focus of attention may the Lord turn his eye into your direction and answer and respond to whatever pierces you torments you and frightens you may the Lord remember that you are the apple of his eye in 2024 and as the Lord remembers may the Lord turn his blessings towards you just as he remembered the Israelites when they were in Egypt and they were suffering may the Lord also remember you yes, Lord. and initiate yes. your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. I bless you Amen. and I bless all the children the whole family and all that the Lord has brought under this blessed banner of church and ministry your head that was bend down shall be lifted up in 2024 whatever made you bow down and stoop in shame in sorrow in disappointment in disillusionment may the Lord lift your head up this year by his power and by his grace now lift your hands whatever was impossible was not possible the Lord makes it possible in the coming year whatever was unattainable and unachievable the Lord makes it possible this year may the Lord help you to recover I see the word recover I hear the word restore I hear the word recover 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 baraba soda from every setback from every limitation ada asma hajan dala manda katabara sandola mama shanda now your leg that stepped in water and mud that have dirtied you 
and made you unfit for the congregation. May the Lord himself take your clothes for dry cleaning and your foot for cleaning and may the smell of evil be washed away from you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is called a sin, eh? whatever is called a sin that has followed you like a little dog, always a part of you, in Jesus' name, I rebuke them. And I say you are free from the sin that so easily besets you in 2023. And in 2024, you shall be blessed and walk free from sin from evil concupiscence, from inordinate affections, from fornications, from adulteries and lasciviousness and wickedness, and covetousness, which is idolatry. The Lord bless you. I see a mountain. The mountain has snow on it. And that is a high mountain. The Lord places your foot upon a high mountain. The Lord blesses you. Amen. For Horande Kalamanda, ah, for the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. May you stand well in the house of the Lord, yes, Lord. in 2024. Live long and prosper Amen. doing his work all the time. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you to find your way back and find your way to the front yes, and find your way to the top of the yes, mountain. Lord. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, thank you, thank you for everyone who has received this blessing. Thank you for the children, the family, and the children's children. Oh, thank you for the blessing. Finally, lift your hand. Whatever you prayed for, that has not been answered yet. The Lord answered all your prayers in 2024. I pray and I join my prayer. Yes. According to the word of God, Matthew 18, 19, that if two shall agree concerning anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them. My prayers and your prayers and our prayers together, we ask, Lord, yes, Lord. that whatever has not been answered, yes. be answered yes. now. Yes, In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And now, like I said, I'm going to give you the prayer topics. So just show them on the screen. I, I want you to screenshot it. Number one, can we have it all together? Or it's too big, right? It's way too big. Okay. So number one, screenshot it. Do all of you join in, please. God bless you. And, um, oh yes, it says, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. All my steps are guided. I shall take only good steps that lead to good things and good places. Amen. Number two, I'm thankful that 2024 is my year of taking the good steps. All right? My meat is to do the will of him that sent me to finish his work. I enjoy supernatural guidance. All right? Number three, screenshot it. I will take good steps to becoming a good Christian. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. All right? It goes on. Many important things. Number four, Lord, I thank you that I step into a good life. My meat is to do the will and to finish his work. Amen. And many other things. Number five, these are our prayers. Lord, I thank you for the good and blessed steps I'm taking in 2024. I am only taking the steps of loyalty and faithfulness. My father works and I also work. No one can describe me as an orangu or unfaithful or a traitor in 2024. God forbid that I should become unfaithful in any way in 2024. Yes. By the grace of God, I shall never be one of those who live, those who are accused, those who forget, and those who are dangerous sons. Amen. 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 Number six, Lord, I thank you for directing my steps into good things. I enter 
new realms. I shall find my place. Amen. Amen. My father work and I also work. I shall become freshly anointed. Hallelujah. In 2024, I shall step into new oil and fresh butter Amen. of the anointing. Amen. Amen. And number seven, I must work the works of him that sent me. Lord, I thank you for a series of good steps. Amen. For beautiful 2024. Amen. I step into the favor of God. I step into endless favor. Endless promotions. Endless victories Amen. in 2024. I must work the works of him that sent me. I escape whatever delays the fulfillment of divine prophecies concerning my life. No one will feel sorry for me in 2024. Amen. Amen. I will harvest all the good seeds I have sown. Amen. Amen. All right. Number eight. I must work the works of him that sent me. I see myself stepping into supernatural fruitfulness. Yes. Supernatural harvest. Yes. Every desert of my life will turn into a fruitful field. Oh, I step into soul winning. Oh, yes. I step into church growth. Yes, I step into ministry. Yes, I find my place. Yes, I step into lay ministry. Yes, I step into full-time ministry. Beautiful. So you see, it's a combined of steps and working. Yes. Number nine. Lord, I thank you for the steps of humility. Amen. Amen. Wow. No one will be able to call me proud or stubborn. Yeah. I know that all my problems, my failures, defects, and disasters are due to my pride. Hmm. I therefore resolve to take only steps of humility in 2024. Right. Amen. Amen. So that God will not resist me, but give me grace throughout the year. Amen. 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 Is it true? Yes. I'm going to take steps of humility. Yes. Number 10. In 2024, 24, I shall escape, enjoy divine escapes. Divine mm. I escape trouble. Amen. I escape persistent crisis. I escape poverty. I escape, I escape financial I difficulty. Escape. I escape sickness and disease. I escape evil diagnosis of evil diseases. I escape hospitalization. I escape marital crisis. I escape whatever opposes my divine blessings. Blessings, my future, my gifts, my spiritual development, my academic well being, my professional opportunities, my financial opportunities, right. and all my ministry opportunities and my work opportunities. Hmm? Now, listen, escape is different from overcoming. You know? May you escape. Everything you are supposed to run away from and escape from, you are escaping from it in 2024. Amen. Amen. You are escaping it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are praying for it. Lord, I'm thankful that in 2024, I shall only take the good steps of a good man. Every good step I take will lead me forward and not backwards. Like Isaac, I will wax great. I will move forward. I will expand. I will become very great. And people will envy me. The same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. The works you do are going to bear witness of Amen. 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 Number 12. In 2024, I am stepping into total surrender. Oh. My father worketh and I work. Oh. I'm sold out for Jesus. I shall not run away from God. Yes. My life, my strength, my family, and my time are not my own. They are God's. My life spent is irrevocable. When it's done, it's done for eternity. It's worthwhile to push myself with all my might in promoting the gospel and the kingdom of our Christ. I shall therefore give myself wholly to the glorious mission unreservedly in 2024. Amen. My year of work. Amen. All right. God bless you. And um, are you excited about these prayer topics? We're going to pray about them. And uh, maybe tonight I will even give you more things. All right. So that's going to be a great blessing. Let's stand up and take a thanksgiving offering. I feel we should at least say thank you. A last offering to say thank you. Some of you, this prayer, you don't know what to pray for. The whole year, you have something to pray for. Amen. Because if you take one prayer topic alone, it can help you to pray for a long time. True or not true? Yes. Your academic opportunities and professional opportunities, work opportunities. Yes. yes. <laughs>
take out your thank you gratis. Now, have you seen that scripture in Colossians? Abounding with thanksgiving. Yes. You are bound through thanksgiving. Amazing. That, that is, you, you, you flow, you do well through thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And it's good, you know, we have almost 5,000 people uh, online uh, in our flow service. But if we had had a live service, we just have a few hundred people. Yes. So it's good that you, you all join. Yeah. All right. Look at it in Colossians. It says, as you have been taught, abounding, abounding. therein with thanksgiving. Oh, oh. That's why I want you to give a thanksgiving. Always be ready last minute to give even one CD, one dollar, one anything, or anything. If your thanksgiving is just one, well, it's up to you. But at least so a special thank you. Lord, take some of my momo because I want to say thank you for these prayer topics. Thank you for this flow service. Thank you for this great blessing you give to us. We are grateful in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you. thank you. Oh, for this time, as we welcome the worship team, we are going to say thank you to the Lord. Thank Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this great and amazing blessing with over 5,000 people joining in this amazing flow service on Sunday morning the 31st. What an amazing blessing we have had. Thank you. Bless us all as we serve you. We are giving this Thanksgiving special Sunday morning offering. Blessings and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.